Hi everyone, it's Tannis with H and H Sign Supply for my weekly live video. This week I will be showing you how to apply heat transfer to a piece of wood, and it will be my last live until after the first of the year. I have decided that I will take off the week of Christmas and the week of New Year so that I can recharge and get some more ideas going. I think it's time to take a small break and enjoy my family and simmer down during the holidays. So thank you to everyone that has joined me throughout this journey. I started this whenever COVID hit. I was encouraged by the gentleman that helps us with our social media and um, I was very nervous about it, but everyone has been so kind and I thank you for allowing me to spend a little bit of time with you each week. So again, we will be doing heat transfer today on a piece of wood. Hi, Regina. It's good to see you. And um, I have done this before, and I've done it on. I've done this before um, for myself or something in my showroom, but I haven't done it on a video. I don't think. Several months ago, I think it was back in the summer. I did heat transfer on metal, but this time I'm going to do it on wood. I already have it cut out, and I put it on here to bring it over and it sucks, so. But I get these pieces of wood from Hobby Lobby. It says it's $12.99. I know I didn't pay that for it. It's the uh, Master's Touch. So anytime Master's Touch or the canvases are on sale, then these are on sale too. You can catch them 50% off. This one is a 12 by 12. And you have to pay attention to the finish. So right here will tell you what finish. And if you're putting vinyl or heat transfer on it, you wanna make sure that you get the ultra smooth. And the reason is because if you don't, then it's kinda of got a little bit of a texture. It's not completely smooth and vinyl doesn't like to stick to that. Um, trust me, I've done that with experience. If you were painting it, it would probably be okay but if you want vinyl to stick to it, you wanna make sure that you get the ultra smooth. This one is 12 by 12. Again, I'll show you the tag. This is what it looks like. Of course it is backwards, but I'm 12 by 12 and you get those in the canvas section. Or if you had a piece of chipboard, you could always paint it or if you had a smooth piece of plywood, you could use that too. So here it is. It is unfinished on the back and it does have the wooden edge. So if you wanted a staple like a bow or um, a piece of twine to hang it, you could do that. Now, um, we will be using today the Caesar and this is the design, it says let it snow if you can't see it. The snowflake is the Caesar holographic and the outline is the Caesar metal. Now, that looks black, but the color of the metal is silver blue and it's kinda got a bluish navy black tint depending on where you're looking at that in the sun. And the snowflake is the Caesar sky blue in the holographic. And um, so it's going to be a two layer process. Let's see what everyone's saying before I get started. Today, we're, it's just going to be a really fast live. Uh, all right, no comments yet. So Christmas is just next week and I cannot even believe it. And with it being Christmas next week, I feel like everyone already has their decorating done, probably most of the shopping done. And I uh, just wanted to kind of stay away from Christmas and do something that was more for winter. So this design, you could definitely let it set uh, throughout January or until you started decorating for, th for Thanksgiving, for Valentine's Day. <laughs> so, um... So yeah, we are going to do this winter project. And first, I've got my heat press set to 305. Now, the metal and the holographic are two different heat settings. 
The metal is 305, which is the bottom layer, which is that blackish blue color. That's what I'll be pressing first. It's 305 for 10 to 15 seconds. The holographic is 320 for 15 to 20 seconds. Now, since this is not a t-shirt or I will not be washing this, I'm going to press the holographic for the same time as the metal. And as long as it sticks, we should be good. Um, but if you were washing, you would want to pay attention to the temperature and the, the, the press time. Let me flip my camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. Alright, so... This, this block of wood is not, it's gonna, like, I'm not gonna be able to press that all the way down. So I want to adjust the height. I want to raise my platen. And I'm probably gonna have to raise it quite a bit. sheet down just in case there's anything um, on my platen or anything that way it does not get onto uh, the board I gotta go even further I think that is about good my board is 12 by 12, but my platen on my heat press is 11 by 15. So I wanna make sure, my design I think is about 10 and a half by 10 and a half. This design I found on the Silhouette store. Actually, I think the snowflake and the letters are separate. Like I didn't buy it in one piece. I'm actually going to remove it from the platen so I can get it lined up here. So for this first layer, I'm just going to press it for about five seconds, just enough so it will stick. It does, I don't have to press it the full amount of time, just enough for it to stick. And since my heat press is not clamping, because um, I have raised my platen, I'm just gonna have to count in my head. I'm gonna do a little bit of test and see if it has stuck. not stick well so that's why I'm turning it around and trying to get a better press on it and whatever you're doing anything that's not a fabric be careful because whenever you peel it it's going to be hot All right, it still didn't stick well. Probably 
not enough pressure. So I'm just really pressing down. I'm going to turn it around and make sure that the other side of the letters. All right, guys, I am having all kinds of difficulty with this, and I don't know what the problem is. Because I have done heat transfer on wood a dozen times. Hmm. Just raising the plan. I want to make sure that I am actually pressing the design. Like I'm not, like I think that I'm pressing it, but I'm really not. That's what I'm going to make sure. guys it's just not sticking and I don't know what the problem is I have done this probably three other times and I've even done it to to wood as long, generally, as long as the surface will accept heat, you can use heat transfer on it. Maybe it's the type of heat transfer I'm doing. I'm not exactly sure, but... This is totally a bummer. And I don't have an iron here. I don't have an iron over here that I could try to use instead. It's just not gonna stick I'm sorry guys and here's the deal like I it's kind of a nail that failed it uh, my friend Jamie at craft chameleon she does a weekly nail that failed it and this obviously is a nail that failed it like I don't know what it is I don't know if I'm like I'm not sure but anyways we're just gonna roll with it I'm gonna put I'm curious now that I'm in this and I've already ruined it like can I do the holographic and not have any issues like that's now I'm, I'm curious So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to press this for like 30 seconds.
Most of it stuck. I'm going to try to give it a, another good press here. Most of it stuck. There's a few that are not sticking. So, These little pieces on the snowflakes are not like this stick. All right, so there are some places, oh, it shocked me. There are some places that aren't laying down. I'm gonna put it in here one more time and I'm gonna press it and hopefully it will, um, since the carrier's not on there, it will stick. Right, guys well epic fail but at least you know that you can I know that you can put heat transfer on wood I'm just not sure what happened I think it could be the type of heat transfer I was using in the past I know that I've done the glitter and I know that I've done just like regular easy bead but this time it was the Caesar metal and the Caesar holographic so we lost the outline but we still have the holographic. So the holographic worked just not as well um, as what it should have. I mean, there were still some places that didn't stick. I mean, from here, this looks pretty cute, but whenever you get it up close, you can see where that outline was supposed to be. Let's see what our comments are. Got a lot of comments. Um, it's because you're not getting enough pressure. Yes, I do agree, Austin. Um, and it's hard to get pressure because it won't clamp because I had because it's got that thick wood in it. But I was pushing down really hard. Um, you might might be slightly warped. Good thinking. Um, let it stay down longer so that the wood can heat up. Could you put something between the board and the bottom pressing surface to raise the center of the board? Now this board is pretty solid. Like it, it's probably uh, maybe 
an eighth or, or a quarter inch. Um, so I don't think it's that the board is dipping. I think it's because it's glitter HTV, put more pressure, that works. Watching, let's see, what time is that? Uh, okay, so my pressure was me pushing, but I was pushing really, really hard. And in the past, I, that's not really been an issue. Um, so I'm not really sure what happened. My time or my temperature was 305, which is what the first color, the metal, was recommended at. And the press time was 10 to 15 seconds. And there, I know I did more than 10 or 15 seconds through, like, as I kept turning it. The holographic was 320, but I was pressing at 305, and it stuck better than the metal. So it's really a total mystery to me. I'm not really sure what exactly happened. And I do apologize, but you guys now know that you can experiment with putting heat transfer on different surfaces. Generally, if the surface will accept the heat, then you can put the heat transfer on it. I've put it on metal, I have put it on wood, I mean, all different types of fabrics. I've put it on burlap, a lot of different things, and this time it just failed, so I do apologize. But that is the joy in doing a live video, is you guys get to see me make mistakes and know what not to do, and you can also help me brainstorm on what to do differently next time. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit of research, maybe a little bit of testing. Since this board is already ruined, I'm gonna take my home iron, and I'm gonna see if I can get it to stick that way. And if it won't stick with that, then I think it's just not gonna happen. So thank you guys for all of your support throughout the year. I will be taking a break. I will do another live the first week of January. If you have ideas for that, let me know. And we will be closed Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So keep that in mind if you have any orders that need to be shipped. But also keep in mind of all the shipping delays that are happening. Once they leave here, it's really hard for us to control any kind of delays or logistics of the packages. Uh, if no one else has any other questions, um, then I'm gonna sign off for 2020. And I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas and you enjoy the holidays. Um, happy, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever it is that you celebrate during the holidays. I hope that it's a great one. We celebrate Christmas and someone had said to me before, um, you know, I say happy holidays now because I don't know what people celebrate. And that's fine. If someone says happy holidays to me, then I'll respond positively. But I say Merry Christmas because that's what I celebrate. And if someone was to say to me, happy Hanukkah or happy holidays, then I'm, you know, it's not going to offend me. Um, so that's my take on it. And I hope everyone does enjoy the holiday season and that you're healthy and safe. Thank you for watching. We supply, you create.